And we've got uh, free kick expert Dave Pabuno looking to take this one. Yeah, Boggs is. Well, the, He's been outstanding for four months all season, Dixon, and scored. He must have scored quite close to double figures, free kicks, I think, Dixon, this season. His, yeah, his, his delivery is outstanding, mate. Isn't it? Well, we'll wait and see. <laughs> You're setting him up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait and see. As, uh, he probably won't clear the, the wall. The two man wall, can he get over that? He does, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brooks. Thanks for that. <laughs> Saying how good you were, mate. <laughs> Thanks for that. So, what did you think of that Brooklino free kick? Yeah, it was rubbish, Dicks. <laughs> Thanks, Brooks. <laughs> Telling everyone how good you were, mate. <laughs> I was away, mate. <laughs>Game number six in Cornwall, they've got to win it. Um, what, we're actually been in a situation that Cornwall got to win a game or not? Yeah, I have actually, Dix, yeah. I've, I've, yeah, I've been in a, I think we lost a semi-final once under Mass, I think, Dix. Um, played against Devon a couple of times, mate. Beat him 2-0 here, um, actually, Dix, at St Blasium. We lost 3-0 up to Everton, mate, so I've got mixed feelings about this game, mate. Let's go with the 2-0, hopefully. It's uh, Cornwall in possession through skipper Ed Harrison and... Uh, Already using Jack Ray Evans, of course, the man who knows the back of the net for Falmouth this season. Didn't get a touch by Ricky Shepherd, but uh, the flag is up for uh, offside there. That far side assistant, John Green. Nice sunny afternoon. Paul back in possession. O'Brien along the ground. To, oh, nice dummy by Shepherd. No, out on the right. It's uh, it's Dave Barker. Oh, across this block, but he gets another attempt. Far post over the head of uh, well, Sam Farrant over the head of Sam Farrant the first time, and then Martindale crashed it uh, across the box. So Farrant couldn't react. So Walford with the throw, but uh, it, then the cross comes in from the number two, headed out by Cornwall's number two, but only as far as Levi Landrickham, who. Uh, Lined up, shaped up for a shot, but we won't mention it. No, no, the execution wasn't quite there, Deeks, was it? Neither side able to keep possession for too long at the moment. As uh, Ward passes it to Josh Story, who gives it to the uh, number 11, Luke Mortimer. This could be dangerous. Devin attacking Mortimer, lining up to uh, perhaps get in a shooting position. He's still got the ball. Got to Jesse Howe in the action, but... Cornwall block it and come away with it, but um, dangerous break. Yeah, a bit of an uncharacteristic sort of stray pass from Josh Story Dix, wasn't it? But uh, yeah, luckily nothing, uh, you know, the lads got back behind the ball well and blocked it, mate. No, it's Cornwall's turn to attack. Evan, Bray Evans looks for the oh. shot. Well, he looked for the shot. He sailed over the keeper, Deering, and uh, what approach in 10 minutes yeah. and Cornwall take a 1-0 lead. Everything he touches turns to gold, Dick's done it a minute for Jack, mate. I've got to be honest, mate, I, I thought Deary must have been a little bit further off his line than I thought Dick's Bray Evans, nice little push in the back of Colwell. Can Martindale keep that in? Yes, he does. Shepard makes the run towards him. Using Harrison out, spreading the play out to Barker. Barker's cross near post. Thompson gets it and... Uh, just wide. Jesse Howe all the way through to Ryan Barnes. Nice grey top he's got on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've seen Ryan look better, Dix, to be fair. I do, I do, I'm not sure about the yellow shorts, mate. Are you? And the, like you said, mate, the, the Devon keeper's got a lovely gold 
flashy goalkeeping kit on, mate, but Ryan's looked like he's found it at the lost property box at school, mate, doesn't it? <laughs> Thompson, nice ball to Bray Evans. Shields the ball well, doesn't he? So, oh, what was that? Nice little, what do you call that? Sam Farrant with the free kick. Quarter of an hour on the clock, testing the keeper. Thompson got there, just headed wide. That's probably only about an inch wide, I reckon. It's coat of paint, mate, wasn't it, Dix? Devon retained possession. High with an effort, which, oh, again, wasn't that far off. Colwell, quick ball forward, over the head of James Ward. Bowker is on the end of it. Comes inside. Oh, but his uh, Helston teammate, Story, winning that one. Yeah, nearly, nearly um, excellent from Bokes, mate. Right idea that um, Wardy was always going backwards. Deeks on it. That ball had a bit of snow on it and um, managed to get away. But nice little flick over um, Story's head, mate, on it for Bokes. But, um, but, but Josh got back, mate, didn't he? And, and did well to recover. Another shot uh, from Devon over the crossbar. Bray Evans holding off uh, off Priest and finding Barker. Shepard back to Story. Long ball forward. Bray Evans in possession. He'll look to shoot again. And uh, that is that why he's getting so many goals? He's not afraid to shoot. No, I think there's a lot to be said about that. He actually started the move as well, mate, didn't he? A ball played into him, like you said earlier, Dix. Nobody holds a ball up too much better than Jack these days, mate. He, he sticks his bum out into defenders, mate, doesn't he? And, you know, s seldom loses the ball and started that uh, move and, and almost finished it as well, Dix, didn't he? Not sure, I'm not sure that description is actually in no. the coach's <laughs> manual. <laughs> Devon back in possession, Jake Miller looks up. Finds Mortimer, gets a shot in, which uh, good save by Barnes. Yeah, good football round from Devon there, Dix. You know, nice little ball from Jake Miller into the feet of Mortimer. And, you know, Mort mentioned earlier, I thought the same as well, Dix. That, you know, he's, he looks a lively character, mate, coming inside. And that was a great strike and good save low down from Ryan, mate. Low down to his left, Dix, wasn't it? O'Brien back to Harrison. Heard the shouts, man on. Gets rid of it to Josh Story. Story, good ball, finds Sam Farrant. Farrant shielded uh, the ball. He knew Miller was coming in. <laughs> Didn't get the free kick, though. I didn't see um, any foot on ball at all there. I thought that was a stone wall free kick, mate. So shows what my uh, eyesight's like, mate, because the referee was right on the spot, mate, wasn't he? So, so you've got to say great tackle, I suppose. Mate. No. Great tackle on that occasion. Then O'Brien hardly well, touched him. Yeah, got that one wrong, mate. <laughs> got, might have got that one right, but I think you got that one wrong, mate. Yeah, it's a, it's a man's game, Dix, isn't it? At the end of the day, you know. Landrican going to bend it around the... Yeah. Oh, I don't know about this. Anyway. Yes, yeah. Rappel, you're right, but the ball goes straight into the wall. Yeah, it was one of the worst disguised free kicks ever, that was, Dix. Callum O'Brien, this could be... Uh, I don't think Landry could have that tackle somehow. I don't blame him, mind. O'Brien inside of Martindale. To Thompson. Gradual build-up uh, here by Cornwall. Ends up the cross from O'Brien. Nice little flick back by Harrison to Thompson. Bray Evans, he thought about it. Then he does have a go and it's uh, pushed away by Deering. Yeah, good strike in the end, Dick. Yeah, Cornwall can kick the ball, just uh, run out the first half. A little step over there from James Ward. Back to uh, Ryan Barnes, long ball forward, which Devon will knock straight back towards the Cornwall defence, but a misplaced header, and uh, no time for any added on time as uh, referee Rowan Clark blows up for the break, and Cornwall lead by that goal after nine minutes. If you've enjoyed watching the first half of these video highlights, then please give our channel a boost by giving us the thumbs up. Also, do click the subscribe button if you're not part of our non-league football community, and then click on the bell if you'd like notifications of further videos like these. Right, Rappo, start the second half. What's your prediction? 
prediction, Dick. So I'm going to go 2 1 Cornwall, mate. Gets the throw in. Martindale will take it. <laughs> Unfortunate slip by Shepherd. The old sniper in the trees job, that one, Dick, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I don't think Levi will take this one, mate. I fancy Jake Miller for this one, mate. Right foot. I'll tell you what, I think Baker wants it. Yeah, he wants it. <laughs> He's captain, he's got to have it. Oh, look at his yeah, look at his run up. He's going for it. Miller and Landry can step over it. Or is it just No, Miller? Oh No. I don't know whether it went through the wall or around the wall, but it's in the back of the net. It was, it was horrible, Deeks, wasn't it? Well, I was, hate to say I called it, mate. Hate to say I called it, but I think it might have took a bit of a. I think it went through the wall, Deeks, with a with a little bit of deflection as well, didn't you, mate? Totally wrong-footed, Ryan. I think, mate, didn't. Bit of freight. Trying to claim. The wrong way. Josh Story comes inside, lets it Doug Brooklino take over and he's all right idea. But yeah, I was going to say exactly the same thing, it's right idea, but just put a, I think uh, Brock should have used the seven iron instead of a five, mate, don't you, for that one? A bit like you last week. Oh, mate, don't talk about it, thanks. You were superb, mate, by the way, but um, as good as you were, mate, I was bad, wasn't I? Worst I've played for months, thanks. And then Cornwall moving forward again. Pugrino in the action. Cam Week pointed where he wanted it, but. Um... <laughs> I could see. I think, I think the Western League will be worried about Jay Pugrino, the way he's uh, distributing. Yeah, yeah, I think Westy's dropped uh, Brox for Saturday, mate. <laughs> Let me down badly, mate, any. <laughs> Good substitution by Ben Hooper. So Woods to Wheats. No, can we is he gonna be oh, yes immediately as you said Mark Mark Ramsey called it. <laughs> Only because I've done that myself, Deeks. <laughs> when you've got a, like a 60-40 with a keeper, if you can just tow it past him, Deeks, you know, any contact, mate, you, you're going over, aren't you, Deeks? And ju I just, you know, I could see that was going to be a penalty from 10 yards away, mate. Come on. But you're not 10 yards away. No, 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 sorry. <laughs> when he was... Uh, anyway, more importantly, have you got a penalty here? Who's taking it? The Devon number three? No. Ed Harrison, the skipper, steps up, takes the uh, responsibility. Half an hour into the second half. Cornwall need this one. Crowd go hush. Church bell is ringing. Is that a sign? Harrison comes forward. Oh, nice penalty. Yeah, yeah, lo love that. Takes that. Loads of confidence from Ed, mate. Not sure I would have tried that one, mate, but... But uh, yeah, great penalty, mate. Because Ed had a great run of penalties for Camelford, Dicks, didn't he? I think he scored like 10 in a row and then he missed a couple, didn't he? <laughs> been him since he's about 10 years old, Dicks, and had every confidence in him there, mate. You know, I think we've been pretty dominant on the last 15, 20 minutes because Chris, since Chris has come on, what, he's touched the ball three times maybe in 20 minutes? And that's a great kick through from him. Lob from, from Thompson, I thought it was in. Yeah, yeah, right finish, Dick. It def definitely the right finish from Reese. Yes, he does get hold of the ball. Back to Payne. Payne's cross is blocked out, but goes to Thompson. Back to Woods. Woods cross towards number 14. Oh, Dave Rubino. What a chance for Brock. A lovely ball in, mate. And uh, with Brock's technique, mate, I'd have fancied, I think. But, but you did ask a wise man at half time what the score was going to be, mate. And, I said 2-1-4, so if that went in, it would have mucked up my prediction. <laughs>